we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Good morning guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like the camera's a little bit bright. There we go. I decided to vlog today. It is the start of a brand new month. I thought I could do this kind of a reset day vlog style concept at the start of every month whereby I just get on with stuff that needs to be done, whether that be cleaning, organizing, whether it be getting a food shop in, which I think I'm gonna do today as well. Just switched out the bedding, so I need to put the old bedding in the wash this morning. I've taken Barney to doggy daycare. He usually goes in once, he's actually in twice this week, but he's usually in once a week. Some weeks he doesn't go in at all, but I feel like today I'm gonna let him play with his friends, be fully entertained for the day so I can just get cracking with stuff that needs to get done. Need to get my nails done as well, so at some point today I'm gonna to try and book in and see if they have availability for me. I also thought, with it being the start of a brand new month, it might be quite a nice time to maybe share with you some favorites from the previous month. A bit old school, like a monthly favorites segment within this video. I just have a couple of things that I've been listing thinking, actually yeah, I've really been enjoying that, just really random stuff. So again, at some point I will show you that. When I go head out, get my nails done, there is a home sense not too far from me and I've seen online that they've started getting bits in for Easter and we all know that I am a big shopper and I'm especially a seasonal shopper. I love a new season, I love a bit of home decor every time a new season comes around so I thought I could maybe pop in. You may be able to hear that drilling. <laughs> is the builders down in the basement they are cracking on with the renovations of which of course i'm documenting as well so stay tuned for all the reno series of vlogs coming your way very soon i've got a lot more updates to share with you which is just so exciting they're probably my most favorite videos to film and edit because it's really good to like look back on where we've come. I might even pop my hair up today and have a bit of a hair up out my face kind of day. I might even wash it tonight. I'm gonna pop on perfume shall I wear today. I think I always kind of go with what I'm feeling like the weather's like. Obviously, as we all know in the UK, the storms and everything that we've had over the last couple of weeks and the weather has been very up and down. Spring is on its way. However, so I'm feeling, let's go Basil and Neroli. This is one of my favorite scents for when the warmer months start because it's just herby, so spring-like, not too summery. And the Basil as well, the Neroli, I just, oh my God. I've not worn this since, pretty much since last year probably. So nice. And I'm wearing my new Zara jumper, which I featured in a Zara haul not too long ago. Pretty big Zara haul of which I also uh, mentioned that I had a Farfetch discount code, which is still valid actually. It's valid until the 18th of March, I think. I've also got rest of my outfit of the day, Barney's hair, because that's always an accessory that you have when you own a golden retriever. Um, I've got my Lululemon leggings on. These are the Align leggings. They are just the comfiest, most high-waisted, second skin feel legging that are just the best. And you know what? I think I might wear my new Ultra Mini Uggs today as well, because it's a kind of running errands day, grocery shop day. Getting my nails done day, I want to be comfy. Hence why I might pop my hat up. Um, I feel like I might treat us to an M&S shop today. I saw, oh, his daycare is sending me photos. They're honestly just the best. I saw um, a vlog recently where someone showed this M&S salad, which I've had before and it's the best thing ever if you're trying to be healthy. As far as salads go, I'm not a salad eater. As far as salads go, this one is delicious. It's got like avocado and feta in. It's really yum. It's like a creamy salad, if you can have a creamy salad. So, as soon as though it's midweek, I'm feeling like I'm gonna try and be a little bit healthier. Um, that's that's kind of the, the way that I'm dieting, dieting, 
living my lifestyle right now is weekdays I try to be somewhat healthy I try to make healthier choices with the odd treat here and there it's very windy and rainy outside right now I try to make healthier choices but yeah I can't help myself but have a little piece of chocolate every night because I'm a chocoholic <laughs> I just find that by doing that, it just allows me to, at the weekends, treat myself kind of guilt-free and just enjoy a treat. I'm never the sort of person that could restrict anything in my diet. Like, Tom's really good at just going cold turkey and cutting out chocolate altogether for a month or however, however long he wants to do it. And I'm just like, I can't do that. All carbs he's done it with before. Absolutely not. That is... <laughs> not something that i ever would want to even do so yeah i figured i might as well treat myself to an MS shop today so that is my agenda for today i hope you enjoy spending the day with me today i hope you have had a lovely february i hope you've had a positive start to march so far let's all get cozy together get comfy put your feet up relax grab a drink and let's get in to today's video And just like that, I am done out of the salon. Thankfully they had an appointment I got in at the right time. You know when you, if you're doing a walk-in to a salon that accepts walk-ins and then about three people come in within five minutes after you. Ugh. I went for a nice nude color, nice neutral color. I think this is called Havana Cream, the DND polishes, the shellac gel polish. A nice pinky neutral color, I'm really, pleased with this color actually it's been a while since i've found a good nude and i feel like i found my new fave let's turn that down i'm gonna head to um the home sense first and then do an mns shop en route back to the house and then i need to put on some washing and do all that sort of stuff so yeah i thought i would go to home sense beforehand so i've not got a load of car well so the car <laughs> i meant food in the car i've not got a load of food in the car Let's get on the road and let's go. I'll see you guys when I get to Home Sense. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly starts to fade feels like things are gonna go my way So I've just grabbed some fuel so that I don't do a food shop hungry because that's probably the biggest mistake you can ever possibly make. I just grabbed a Cortado from Costa and myself a, never had one of these before, from their pork and apple sausage roll. Looks delightful. I ended up spending a bit longer than anticipated in Home Sense. It's quite successful. I managed to grab a couple of bags full of bits so um i'll show you those bits later when i get home oh it's so annoying this car the way that this steering wheel's there speaking of cars tom's got a new new car on order so we've been sharing this one for a while which has been okay i just don't like sharing my car whenever he's like i need the car i'm like oh i want to go shopping so he's like had to use it for cricket practice and stuff so he's going for an electric car he had an electric car before the one he's getting now so he's still an electric fan despite the previous one not going too well the other one was a volkswagen he's gone for audi this time mm. Mm. 
I just got to the sausage part. It was just pastry before. These, delicious. Best food I've ordered from Costa. And they do a really nice mac and cheese as well. We were having this discussion um, yesterday with Tom saying which of all the cafes that we like best. So if you're comparing Costa, Pret, Starbucks, Cafe Nero, I personally, even though there's less of them, I'm personally a really big fan of Cafe Nero. I think their pastries and everything are really lovely and their coffee's good, but there's never that many of them. And then um, Tom's favorite was Pret of all the options. I'd say Starbucks is my favorite for coffee, but for food and coffee in general, overall really good. I think Cafe Nero is my favorite. So Costa's probably our least, but it's still good. I just don't get as excited with Costa. I think because there's so many Costas local to us, it's more of a treat if we get a Starbucks or a Cafe Nero or even a Pret. However, this, Chef's Kiss, delicious. Which is your favorite of them all? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued if anyone would actually choose Costa as their number one. Let me know. Right, I'm gonna finish this, head on over to M&S do a bit of a food shop. It's quite a big M&S, the one that I go to. It's in Wilmslow, Hanforth Dean it's called. And this is where the Home Sense is as well, if you're interested. And it's quite a nice M&S because they've got a huge homeware section, they've got a huge fashion section, and then obviously the food shop as well. So I'll, I'll have a quick browse around the fashion and homeware stuff because honestly, M&S Home is one of my favorites. I think they're so, it's the favorite department of M&S is the homeware, then the food, then the fashion. stuff at first just so that you can see them before I put them away so I've got a big bag full of stuff to fill the fridge and my receipt there um really impressed with M&S got some great finds which I'm so happy about I feel like you're gonna be able to hear the builders downstairs so let me whiz through these and then I'll show you the kind of like homeware bits and home sense bits back upstairs where hopefully it's a little less noisy so first thing i got this hot shots which they do in ginger which i love but as you guys know i make that ginger tonic and in like big batches and um, it works out so much more cost effective because these are about three pounds each but i decided to try these ones because they are slightly different to just the plain old ginger this has got orange lemon turmeric ginger and cayenne so i wanted to test this rather than do a massive batch with these ingredients and then not like it i feel like i need to give my opinion on whether or not i'm going to start adding these ingredients to the ginger tonic i make okay i'm not the sort of person that tends to opt for spice and i wouldn't class this as super hot at all it is spicy but it's not it's not hot that's doable it's getting me in the back of the throat though but no i actually like that i don't know if i prefer it to what i ordinarily do though so maybe i won't add 
I just think turmeric's meant to be really good for you, isn't it? I think it's the cayenne that's the hot, the heat. Orange, lemon, ginger, turmeric, cayenne. Anyway, that's my verdict from them. I also got as well as the vine tomatoes, this feta, because I thought I could do that TikTok feta pasta, which I've not done in ages. You can do it with other stuff as well, but it's like the bacon in the oven feta with all sorts of herbs, salt and pepper and tomatoes. Mush it all together and mix up some fresh pasta in there. It's delish. Demi cut meats, just sandwiches. We've got this one, which is the sweet and spiced ham and then topside beef some rocket some sugar snap peas these are really good to snack on as are these little baby cucumbers mini chef's style carrots oh here we go i just went for the classic hummus this time they did have the olive oil one i just went for the classic on this occasion oh i picked up this they had these in the fridge next to like all the pancake stuff and i thought it just sounded lovely it's maple butter i got these stoned olives they are delicious this i love a waldorf salad the apple and celery and walnut slaw sable grapes these are the seedless red ones again if we do a little cheese board or like just cheese and crackers for lunchtime we love to put grapes with it edamame beans again a great little snack pot and these are high in protein as well this is the salad that i was talking about the avocado feta and grain salad so i'm going to have this this afternoon i think because i'm quite full from that sausage roll and coffee i might just have this as my kind of like 4 p.m dinner and then maybe some like hummus snacks popcorn and chocolate for like an evening little what i used to call picnic plate me and my mum's mum used to make them whenever she looked after us when we were younger i used to call them picnic plates whether it be for lunch or in this case an evening like snack time thing with just a you know like some crisps or carrots and hummus little baby cucumbers some olives just kind of like a mixture of all sorts with sweet stuff as well anyway that's gonna oh and the drilling has begun i got the diet sparkling fiery ginger beer i always go for the diet option with no added sugar let me pop those bits away whilst they're drilling downstairs and hopefully they'll stop by the time i share with you all the cupboard bits and homeware bits as well which carried in my anine bing for the first time bag <laughs> anine bing bag for the first time got this on farfetch as well Okay, now time for the cupboard bits and i got these which are so naughty but they're new in so i had to try them they're part of the like tubbed treats section and they're two new flavors the cookie dough which looks so yum and then also loaded millionaires which i think i'm really gonna like it's got little biscuit bits in salted caramel and just good for that little picnic plate that i'm gonna do this evening I also got these for like a lazy lunch i've never seen these before they are soup in a sachet that you just add hot water to so they're only 75p per box and you get four sachets in each i also got some granola this one looked good it's the luxury high protein peanut granola i also got this pack of potato files again these are really good for just in the morning for breakfast with a bit of butter on if you're feeling something naughty and a bit carby they are delish i've got some bananas got some brown sauce for tom for the summer months we are going to be using our outdoor oven loads this is the flour that he likes to use the double zero flour which is good for making pizza bases good for making pasta as well and then i also picked up another one of these that i've done before and it is delicious maybe i'll vlog it sometime soon but it's basically a create your own focaccia and chia batter bread mix and i love focaccia which is loads of olive oil love it a couple of lemons chorizo this is the iberico chorizo though and it's um really good in a dish that we do with it's like a one pot dish with chicken thighs chorizo like peppers onions potatoes so easy to just throw it all in one pan bung it in the oven you've only got one pot to wash up so that's what i got that for well at some point once we've decided what night we're having that meal i'll go out and get the chicken this looked delicious it's a little jar of pesto but it's a truffle pesto then i also got this olive oil spray these are really good in just salads or for baking roasting and then last but not least some bin liners i've not seen these ones before they're actually fragranced 
with citrus grove and then also some dishwasher tablets that we needed these are only about three pounds so grabbed them so that's everything cupboard food wise i'm going to pop these bits away and then take you upstairs and share with you the kind of homeware bits that i got and all the home sense bits too and i'm gonna have another swig of this hot shot because i actually quite like it <laughs> I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in ready for this Ooh, I'm so excited to share with you everything I've got a pretty hefty haul to share with you so so cheers I also picked up one of these little not the cookie dough ones the other ones loaded millionaires treats from M&S just to try It's a lot softer in consistency than what I thought it'd be. Delicious, that's what it looks like on the inside. You've got like that salted caramel layer on top and then the brownie bit on the bottom. Delish. There has got to be a rainbow in the sky somewhere because one minute is bright sunshine, the next is really dark. And I've got my ring light on because it was that dark. Yeah, now the sun's come out and I've literally been sat down for less than 30 seconds we really do experience all four seasons in a day in this country in fact i was going to switch out the camera but i think i might just stick on this one or else the audio will change right anyway let's just get into showing you the m&s bits seeing as though i've shown you the food I might as well show you the homeware bits before home sense so they wrapped it up in kitchen roll on the checkout i got this photo frame it was six pounds and i really loved the thick chunky black and square design to this so it's also got a little passepartout on the inside again which i love i've got the instax fujifilm camera so i thought a little black and white polaroid would look good in there and let me know what you think i just thought that would look lovely i think this house definitely we're adding more and more sort of personal touches and styling bits obviously we still have all of downstairs to style up as well so as and when i see things out and about i'm just kind of finding a home for them or putting them away for when we've done downstairs i also got some refill reed sticks this is just a pack of 20 in black they had the natural color ones as well i particularly liked these because of the thickness to them they're a really like thick read two pound fifty these ones were i also picked up two of the restore range products and this smells incredible they've got the balance restore calm tranquil and sleep I think I've got them all there and I had a little sniff of them all the testers and this one was my favorite the restore so it's fragrance with geranium cedarwood eucalyptus and lavender I've got the little cleansing oil cleansing gel which is like a 
hand sanitizer. I thought that'd be good to throw in the car alongside this as well, just because using quite a lot of hand sanitizer, when I am out and about every time I get in the car, I put hand sanitizer on. My hands do get quite dry, so I thought I could have the matching set in the car. And yeah, I loved the design of this. I mean, I already know what it smells like and I've already told you, but I just want a bit of extra hand cream on. Oh, so good. So again, from the Restore range, I saw that they do these bath salts in this gorgeous amber glass jar with the little cork lid. So I currently have a little bath salts uh, container with a little wooden scoop in my bathroom or my bath tray, but I don't particularly like it. It came free with a redox, redox, redox set that I got at Christmas, but it's plastic and the airtight seal on it is silver. I feel like I can do better. So I'm on the hunt for a new container. For now, I'm just gonna pop this one on my bath tray. But I do quite like the idea of having a scoop in a bowl. And I did pick up something which you'll see from Home Sets, which may be the thing that I found. However, I did think a wooden one might look quite nice, but I'll play around with this other one that I found. But anyway, for now, I've got this. This is £7.50. So I also picked up this set of wax melts that M&S do. It's a big box for £12.50. You get 20 wax melts in there, and they're all individually wrapped, which I thought looked so lovely. So they are all the different scents. I just think that looks lovely as a little container and how nice would that be as a gift for someone who's a wax melt lover as well so i actually have the restore one burning downstairs i popped a wax melt on i've just i always treat myself after a little spruce a little tidy up my little reward to myself and a little kind of pat on the back every time i do a little clean i find it helps if you've got something to motivate yourself to do that's someone at the door <sighs> that was barney's food delivery so Need to pop that in the freezer after I've shown you these bits. Speaking of Barney, I love their little section box and Spencer, which is just so cute. I picked up this from that section that they've got where they've got all the kind of pet friendly products. It was £15 for this set and it includes a pet shampoo, a fabric refresh spray and a grooming brush in the scent Calm. This is, oh, I'll show you what the actual products look like. They look really nice too. I've been using the Zara Home Pet Fabric Refresher Spray and it smells lovely. So I thought once that is all out, then I will move on to this one from this little paws set. So this is how it comes. Again, would make a lovely gift for someone who is maybe a new dog owner. This is the um, Calm Refresh Fabric Spray, again, the bottle itself looks lovely. You could definitely just have that out on display in your kitchen. I've got a whole Barney station in our kitchen, which eventually I wanna move the majority of it to within my kitchen cupboards, but in order to do that, I need a bit of a clear out first. Again, that's maybe a job for a new day and a new reset day of vlog style video like this one. However, having said that, if you had a little kind of display area for your pooches, then that would look lovely on display. And it honestly sm it smells so good. Lavender, sweet orange, clary sage, and cedarwood. It's the calm scent that you could have running throughout your home with the other homeware uh, scented home fragrance products that they do. So this is the little pet brush. It's got the little black elastic handle. It's like silicon as well, which is really handy for cleaning. And then lastly within this set, is the little shampoo we do tend to take barney to the groomers but in between grooming visits especially when he's at doggy daycare like he is today i always have to give him a quick rinse down and sometimes if he's really stinky a little bit of shampoo too just to remove that kind of daycare scent that he tends to get so this is what that looks like cute also picked up this card this is the last thing that i got from MS home it's a Hooray for 40 card for Tom's sister. Moving on to home sets now. I picked up this for upstairs in Tom's shower. I actually don't have a shower screen because mine's kind of like just a walk-in and it's all tiled. But he does and it tends to get quite um, a lot of watermarks on it. So I'm going to pop this in his bathroom for him to use. It's a gorgeous like stone matte beige color and it's silicon it's got the little hook as well 12.99 this one was rrp of 27 pounds oh, that's expensive for a shower sweetie i also picked up these swivel hooks i did pick up 
um, two of them just because I thought they'd be really handy in my wardrobes for hanging my bags like you can see on the actual images that they've shown they were only £1.49 each I also got for the kitchen some of these I've bought these before and they're so handy I really like the colour of them as well they're like a bamboo eco-friendly style uh, Tupperware container with the clear lids you can see what's inside them and it's a six piece which is a bit misleading because it's basically just three boxes with three lids and it was £4.99 I found the mothership, the snowy enrobed Christmas Oreos in there at £2.49. I also got this. I'm a big fan of this. They had a few of these actually. Oh, do you know what? I should have picked up all three and had them side by side somewhere. Oh well, never mind. I picked up the one on this occasion. Yeah, it's only £5.99 as well. Why didn't I do that? to go back i honestly influenced myself to shop for 5.99 this little basket it's a wicker basket what i loved about this was the white wash effect it's a very a white company very expensive looking i thought out on display maybe on a console table when you walk in the house with your keys and whatever you want in there they're just so handy to have these sort of baskets and i loved the look of that one so regretting not picking up more so this is what i found and what i was talking about in terms of potentially popping this in my bathroom one in my bath tray having seen it again now i definitely think i'm going to do that because i feel like this stone kind of finish will look lovely in there it's very weighty this i loved the irregularity on the top and it is just a lidded pot so yeah, it's very heavy. I could pop the little wooden spoon on top or even within, or I could kind of set out some bath salts in there with the wooden spoon and just have that kind of styled up, like leaning against it like so. Anyway, love this. It was $12.99 and yeah, very weighty, great quality well-made piece that one i'm a big big fan of that there were a couple in there actually and then lastly two doggy items i was just looking then in barney's toy basket whilst i was clearing up his toys there's a fair few in there that i probably could do with getting rid of that he's 90 percent either destroyed they're real grubby he's had it since he was a puppy one of which is a rope toy which he has had since we first got him and you know he's 15 months now yeah, he's had a rope toy that he quite often goes to and destroys, but it's very grubby. So I decided to pick him up this new one. It's got like the four different tugs that you can play, which is his favourite game to play. And this was £5.99. It's quite big as well, big and chunky for him to chew on. And then I got this for my brother and his girlfriend who are getting a little pooch. <sighs> They're getting a little sausage and I decided to pick up this. It was $6.99. Their little miniature sausage is going to be tiny. But Barney had a toy when he was a tiny puppy that was the Ikea dog that was much bigger than he was at the time. And it was his favourite toy. He used to sleep with it, suckle on it, cuddle it at night. So I figured I would get this as his kind of like version of Barney's Ikea golden dog toy. I also got two more things from HomeSense. They are these pots, which I remember seeing in there last year. And I just think they're lovely. I think they're so affordable as well. They are in the garden section and are designed for outdoor use. So they're a little bit chalky. And yeah, I just say be careful when, um, if, styling these within your house which is what i intend to do just to make sure that you um wherever you put it it's either protected or it's something that you don't mind will get a little bit chalky on the bottom you know like if you're popping it on a coffee table book or something like that to style it up so anyway this pot has the little hole it's like an urn style jar and it was 7.99 i was fully intending on doing a little bit of thrifting a little bit of uh, secondhand shopping for a really cheap vase that i love the shape of that i could do that diy bicarb soda and paint mixture to give it this kind of a texture having said that when this is 7.99 and it's already done for you and the vase that i've been looking at and not loving the shape of but just thinking oh could i get that could i not and bypassing in charity shops they're like four five pounds anyway so yeah $7.99. I might paint this though either black or white. Or what I might do is get like a sponge and dip it in white and kind of sporadically put the white so it's a distressed aged look but it takes away 
any of the kind of terracotta pinkier tones that run through this. You might be able to say a bit more on the inside and like there. I also got this one, which is the same um, range basically, but again, you can see the bits of terracotta coming through a little bit more on this one, especially on the inside. And yeah, I thought this either black or white would look lovely. And it's got that effect, it's got that texture already, so I don't even need to get the bicarb of soda and do the DIY version. I just paint it, simple as. So this one was only 2 99 so affordable. And I loved the little kind of four handles on this one. I actually thought this one with the intention of maybe in an office styled up, you could put like your ruler, scissors, some nice looking pens and things. You know, like I've got some really nice I've got a really nice gold stapler, scissors, and ruler from Zara Home that I bought quite a while ago. So them in there with maybe just some plain black pens or something, styled up, would actually look quite nice in an office and be super practical as well. I feel like I need to go wash my hands and get rid of all that chalkiness. So that is everything that I've picked up from M&S and HomeSense. Let me know which one you face. I'm going to, I need to pop Barney's food in the freezer actually. So I always have to do that before it defrosts. Mind you, it does last quite a while in that bag, but yeah, gonna go head down, do that, clear up some of this mess in this filming room. And then later on, I'll share with you, oh, look at these bits of hair, like, please help. What do I do? <laughs> I don't, I try and tuck it by my ears, but I don't really want to, put loads of hairspray in my hair because I hate the kind of hairspray feeling but oh, in fact I've got that whey pomade that would work quite well with it it will fly away so I need to put them in their place oh it smells lovely down here I can smell that wax melt burning <sighs> it smells like a spa it smells so good how long have we got left on the wash 30 minutes and I can hang that out and then I think I might pick up Barney a little bit early today I also have had this delivered from cherries this is just a little something that i just ordered myself i know i work with them but this is something that i've used quite a lot having had builders i know it's not the most eco-friendly so no negative comments please this is just a temporary solution which i thought if anyone else is going through a reno with loads of builders in their house that maybe you'll benefit from this too when there's one or two builders here they request a coffee or I go out and see if they want one. When it's a team of 10, I don't even have 10 mugs. Not only that, it's in the washing as well. Eight, nine, 10 packets. And within here you get seven cups and they're only small, but they have within them already the coffee and the coffee whitener. But sometimes I don't always have milk in, even for myself. With these, at least I'm always prepared. So little tip out there for anyone else who they think that might be useful. effort cleaning that dog I tell you now that Barney's settled downstairs he has his dinner and he's gonna be asleep for the rest of the evening I'm gonna 
get changed in a sec, get into my PJs, have an early chill sesh on the sofa with him. So I wanted to, before ending this vlog, like I mentioned at the start of this video, do a bit of a roundup of some favourites of mine that I had kind of noted and things that I was thinking, oh yeah, mention it. It's one of those things that in like other videos, vlogs, on my Instagram, I talk about stuff and I'm like, oh, I'll let you know what I think when I try it out. And then I never do let you know. So I guess this gives me a nice opportunity to tell you about stuff like that. So anyway, I have three pairs of shoes to share with you. The first ones I'm very embarrassed to share with you because they're a little bit mucky. We went on the muddiest walk yesterday, but if you are a country walker, hiker, dog owner, and you get out and about and walking is your thing, my on trainers that I bought a while back, have been amazing. I've really enjoyed wearing them. As you can probably tell, they're a little bit mucky. Um, I do wear a UK 7. They're definitely the best fit for me. I saw loads of reviews on their website of these being quite tight around the ankles, and I do naturally have quite wide feet. So I was a bit like, oh, is it gonna be too tight on my ankles? Maybe is it gonna rub? I've had no issues whatsoever, so I don't know where those reviews are coming from because for me, they're so comfy. I wore these in the Lake District when we went on a really long hike up a mountain, I'm gonna say. It was probably a tall hill, but it was a mountain. And these lasted me, they're 100% waterproof, so you can walk through puddles and everything, and they've been amazing. So I had to kind of give them a shout out and just recommend those again. Sorry, my memory just filled up then, so I had to just delete some clips. Second pair of shoes that I wanted to uh, kind of give a shout out and a mention to as some favorites of mine that I've been loving is my brand new Vasia trainers from Farfetch. Again, Farfetch, amazing. I've worn them to the point whereby they're a little bit dirty, but they're still yet to need an actual proper wash. So I love the color of these ones. I feel like they're gonna be a good transition into spring. I couldn't recommend these enough if you want like a more sneaker style shoe if you're after one. Vasia trainers around the £100 mark and even more so the comfort of these next ones these Uggs Ultra Minis again I've shown these before and I said I'd let you know what I think they're so comfy now I was a bit like hesitant with these in terms of styling them however having said that I do quite like wearing well I wear leggings every single day and as much as I can get an outfit to be an outfit with leggings I will do that uh, but they do look good with jeans and everything as well. But yeah, leggings outfit, kind of, I just wear them with uh, socks, like athletic style. I've got New Balance Adidas socks that are just come up to about there, like white ones with black leggings. Wear these and then a nice jumper sweatshirt style. Honestly, love them. So comfy. It's like wearing your slippers outside. And somewhat stylish with the Ultra Mini. They're definitely, I would say, more of a style slash trend thing over my other Uggs, which are just pure comfort. I did actually wear my other Uggs out and about today because this morning I was tipping it down. I didn't want to ruin those. <laughs> I want to keep them nice for as long as possible. Another thing that I wanted to mention is really randomly this. I uh, mentioned this a while back in a Cherries haul and it's the Daily Shower Shine in Hibiscus Blossom. Not typically a scent I would go for. This is so easy and just makes cleaning enjoyable if it could be because you literally have to do nothing but spray so after every shower or every time i feel like it needs a spritz you simply spray this on your tiles all over your shower it's astonished as well so it's vegan it's quite um it's of all the brands it's quite an eco-friendly brand that's not too harsh chemicals wise and everything like that so it smells lovely but it's not too like whoa bleach you know so you just spritz this all over your shower no rinsing, no wiping, no nothing. So every time I have a shower, I spritz this and it makes the shower smell amazing as well. So yeah, I had to mention that. If they've got other scents, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for them because that is a product, really handy, really easy. So I've been loving that. Um, a couple of skincare products that I've been loving. Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom Body Cream. This is one that I've had and used quite liberally over, oh my God, it smells amazing. Over the last month or so, by using this all over your body and then potentially going in with the mimosa and cardamom cologne, it just intensifies that. I 
and then if I've had a nice hot bath or hot shower in an evening, I use this moisturizer. This one in particular is great at nighttime. It's a deep sleep body cocoon by This Works. It smells amazing and it's good for at nighttime because it has that kind of lavender smell. Is it chamomile, lavender and vetiver? Yeah, so smells amazing, love that. And then in the shower, I have been loving my Aesop Geranium Leaf Body Cleanser. I've seen that they've brought back out the shampoos and conditioners now. So I may get the matchy matchy so that they all look uniform and lovely in my shower. I'll probably refill with cheap stuff after, after it's all gone. I'd say I'm about halfway through this. A book that I started in the Lake District and one that I definitely want to continue reading and have been loving is The Thursday Murder Club. I am a slow reader. Having said that, it is still a book that I have loved. So I purchased the second one, the follow up, and yeah, thought I would mention that. A program that myself and Tom have been getting into that I wanted to mention is as part of my favorites is Euphoria. If you've got Sky or Now TV, Euphoria is something that I've heard a lot of people talk about. I know some of the music is like viral on TikTok and I was like, what is this Euphoria everyone's talking about? It reminds me of current day Skins. If you are the generation that grew up watching Skins, which I did, there's a lot of youngsters, sex, drugs. It's pretty raunchy. It gets a little bit weird in places, but it's definitely one of those programs that you finish an episode and you want to watch the next one. Another thing, and last thing I wanted to mention, is actually a game on my phone. It's called Word Guess. Pick any five letter word, fill it out. So let's go with uh, table. There was that program on ITV called, what was it called, Lingo or something that is basically like this, enter. So we can see that A is correct. That's in the right place because it's green. The yellow colored one is a letter that is within the word but it's in the wrong position. And you've got to try and get it in as many guesses as, or, or as few as guesses as possible. If you get to the end and don't guess it, you lose so you don't get a point so i'm gonna say we know there's a t but it's in the wrong place i'm gonna say h a t c h oops hatch wow see look how good i am <laughs> so now we know that the full word is a t c h but we just need to change that first letter so we know it's not batch because there's a b there watch it could be Oh, it's not watch. Could be patch. What else could it be? Let's go with patch. It could be match as well though. So let's try, oh, let's try match. This is annoying. I could have got it so quickly. Yay, match. So I got it in four guesses, five guesses. I usually get it in three or four. Um, and I've only once never got the word, which was so annoying for me. But yeah, that's the game that I've been kind of doing whilst adverts have been on the TV. So anyway, that's gonna conclude today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of welcome to the new month, reset day, bit of organizing, bit of cleaning, bit of a food shop, bit of a monthly favorites, a bit of a roundup of everything, basically. I hope you guys have enjoyed this style of video. Do let me know if you want more of these at the start of every month or throughout the rest of the month as well, especially organization videos, because I have a lot to do. <laughs> a lot of organizing to do, clear outs and things like that. So if that's something that you want to see more of, thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video.